This has been one of the most extraordinary weeks in the Gulf Coast that I can remember. And it's all because of the volunteers that were part of this group. From the minute they got here, they bonded, they're enjoying each other, and they've just had an amazing time and gotten in a huge amount of work done. We had to actually create some projects because we finished ahead of schedule. We built an entire wheelchair ramp that wasn't even part of the plan on the last day. You know, every time I think about this project and what it's meant to my life, it's almost more than I can wrap my head around because I have a family of people that I didn't have before. And I have gotten so much more out of this project than I ever dreamed was possible. And I'm reminded of that every time we come back here to do a project. It's been incredibly hard work. It's physical labor that, you know, I'm just not used to day after day. And so I've found muscles that I didn't know existed in my body. And I've had a chance to talk to people that I would never have stopped and necessarily had a conversation with. And it's been such a great team project. We all cooperated and everybody got along. And why can't we do that the majority of the times in our workplace and in our work lives? And so that's one of the things I'll bring home with me. You know, one of the things I'm the most proud about about Kaiser is that it's the right thing to do. And there's really no public expectation regarding it. It's just the right thing to do. And I love that I'm working for a company that has that kind of moral value and moral compass. This week's been really just inspiring and motivating. I can be exhausted, but then you realize like it's not about you, you know, it's not about you, it's about the community. And just the thought of that motivates you to keep pushing, you know, and it reminds me of why I do it. You know, it's meeting those people along the way and hearing their story. I met a lot of great people here and I hope to be able to share their story with people back home. I think what I will take home is how powerful kindness can be. Just the general kindness of people we meet on the street, the people we're living with in a house, they still find the time and the opportunity to say thank you for any little thing or to get you a cup of coffee or check in with you and say, are you okay, are you tired, do you want some water? Those things, I think, get lost in this world and I've seen so much of it this week that my heart is just like overflowing with, with just laughter I think when a group of people have a very specific goal and a, the same kind of heart, then the connection is instant. None of us are here for anything other than to do what we have to do to leave this place a little bit better than we found it.